to forecast video update on this Wednesday, November 15th. The morning edition, I'm Josh Brown. We're, we're waking up with uh, temperatures uh, in the uh, upper 30s and low 40s outside this morning, so pretty chilly outside with uh, mostly sunny skies. So uh, please be sure to uh, bundle up uh, before you uh, leave your house uh, this morning, whether you're heading to work or school, uh, because, uh, yes, like I said, it's chilly outside. And, uh, but later on this afternoon, we're expecting temperatures to uh, warm up into the upper 50s, into the lower 60s. And that could give us a chance for maybe just a few showers ahead of a weak uh, cold front that's going to move through by later on this evening. So that's our first system. So, so, you, so you definitely need the umbrella later on today. But the good news is the rain will not be as widespread. So that's uh, good news to hear. But there's, there'll be just a few showers uh, later on this afternoon. And then for, uh, for tonight, we're expecting temperatures to go down into the uh, 40s. Uh, uh, so, it'll be, so it'll be chilly again, but not as cold. And then for uh, tomorrow, we're expecting a little bit cooler during the day with high temperatures so only in the mid to upper 50s. So you definitely need the jacket uh, for the day uh, tomorrow with the sunshine returning pretty much all day tomorrow. And then for Friday, we're expecting more of the way of sunshine. And we're expecting a big warm-up. Uh, we're talking highs in the upper 60s into the lower 70s possible during the day on Friday. But then by late Friday night and pretty much during the day on Saturday, our next weather maker is going to bring us our next chance for showers. Yeah, yeah, yeah for showers and thunderstorms with uh, uh, highs uh, in the low to mid 60s for Saturday. They'll be ahead of a big, big strong cold front. And with these storms, some of them can produce uh, uh, damaging straight line winds, maybe some small hail, lightning, and maybe some localized heavy downpours. So those will be the biggest threats. So a few storms could be strong to severe late Friday night and pretty much during the day on Saturday. So if you got any outdoor plans uh, uh, for the day on Saturday, <clears throat> uh, please be sure to uh, take the umbrella. I know that uh, you don't want to hear the forecast for the weekend uh, of thunderstorms, but, but that's going to happen, but, uh, but it is. So please be sure to uh, take the umbrella and just do something fun indoors uh, uh, as, you, as you start the weekend, especially if you're heading to the college football games on Saturday. Yeah, you definitely need the umbrella. Um, and then for uh, the, but, but by later on, like late sa Saturday afternoon into Saturday night, uh, that strong cold front is going to push through Middle Tennessee, and they'll take all the moisture uh, out of here, and that's going to bring yes, a big, 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 big cold temperatures. We're talking temperatures dipping down into the 40s and possibly 50s by late Saturday afternoon and even into the evening. But uh, by by uh, Saturday, the, our overnight lows late Saturday night into early Sunday morning, we're talking. Uh, morning lows down into the upper 20s and low 30s, so we're going to be below freezing. So we're talking a hard freeze, and there could be some frost. Uh, so, if, like, like I said, if you got any flowers or any plants that you love so much that could be sticking around your front or back porches, please be sure to protect them uh, beginning late Saturday night uh, uh, before it starts to get uh, dark. But uh, temperatures, uh, at least pretty much for Sunday into early next week, uh, so Sunday through Tuesday, it looks like temperatures are not going to warm up that much. We're talking highs in the mid to upper 40s, perhaps into the, perhaps to near 50 if we get a little bit lucky. But, uh, but it's going to be really chilly. We're talking below normal temperatures uh, for uh, the second half of the weekend into early next week, and, were, and even lows down into the 30s. So you definitely need the... Yes, the coat for uh, for the second half of the weekend into early next week, especially as we get close to the Thanksgiving holiday. All right, well, that's it for the forecast video update on this uh, Wednesday morning. Uh, please be sure to look for the next video that will be posted first thing again tomorrow morning. And I'll continue to post notes on the blog, uh, on my blog page, and also on my Facebook page 24-7. Uh, In the meantime, thank you for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.